chocolate and cheese, now that's a perfect pairing. If you're looking for a sweet, cheesy, chocolatey treat, come into my kitchen. Let me show you how to make chocolate cream cheese. This recipe uses cheesecloth, and I'd like to thank cheesecloth.com for providing it for this video. Take four cups of heavy cream and pour it into a non-reactive or a stainless steel pot. And then slowly, over a very low flame, heat the cream to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And you'll take a quarter teaspoon of mesophila culture and you'll sprinkle it on top of the cream. Let it rehydrate for five minutes. Then stir the culture into the cream for one minute. Then take the rennet and add two drops. And stir it into the cream. And then cover the pot and let it rest undisturbed for 24 hours. As with all cheese making recipes, it's important to sanitize your equipment. And I use stainless steel equipment almost exclusively. And I use the sanitize method in the dishwasher. It seems to work very well for me. You can also boil all of this equipment to take that extra step. But what about the cheesecloth? Yes, we need to sanitize that too. It's easy to do. Just submerge it into boiling water for five minutes. Then take the water and the cheesecloth and pour it into the colander that you'll be using for the stretching process. Allow the cheesecloth to cool. Then wring out all the water and stretch it out over the colander to dry. The next step is to prepare the colander for the cheese. And you'll take your cheesecloth that's been dried and you'll spread it out over the colander and I like to use this method to help secure the cheesecloth to the colander. It just makes it easier for the cheese pour. I take an elastic band and I just wrap it around the cheesecloth. I like to use two to make sure that it's secure. When choosing cheesecloth for your cheese making it's important to be aware, aware of two things. The first is to make sure that you're purchasing the correct weave amount and this is a 90 weave and as you can see the weave is very tight and that's a good thing because we don't want the cheese to pour out through the weave and we also want the weave strong enough to be able to handle the weight of the cheese when it hangs. Another thing that I really like about this product is the absence of lint. That's a great thing when you're using it for cooking. After 24 hours it's time to pour the cream into the cheesecloth. I'm going to take half of it at a time and I'm going to ladle it on. Oh, look how thick and creamy that is. That's beautiful. And you're just going to ladle it right onto the cloth. And at the halfway mark, you'll take one teaspoon of cheese salt and sprinkle it onto the cheese. The salt serves a dual purpose. The first is, of course, to flavor the cheese, but the second is to help the whey wick away from the curds, so that's why we do it. So don't worry, it might seem like a lot, but it's really not. A lot of it will come out in the whey. and then sprinkle one more teaspoon of salt onto the cheese. Mm. 
Now take the cheesecloth and create a pouch by making a knot at the top. And then just slip it onto the dowel, or in my case, an old martial arts bow, and allow the cheese to hang for 12 hours. We'll see you in the morning. This is the fun part. It's time to choose the chocolate. You can choose milk chocolate or dark chocolate. You can use chocolate chips, or you can even use chocolate syrup. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to use baker's chocolate. And if you choose to use either the baker's chocolate or the chocolate chips, we'll melt them in the microwave or in a double boiler. After the 12 hours, remove the cheese from the cheesecloth. And here is your reward for waiting for 36 hours. You have rich, decadent, and tangy, beautiful Swiss-style cream cheese right here. It's beautiful. Now at this point you could stop and use this cream cheese in anything you like, but we're going to continue on of course, and I'm going to use a standing mixer to mix in the chocolate and the cream cheese. Here's a side note about the cheesecloth. You can wash it if you wish, or you can use a fresh one every time. It's up to you. And now it's time to add the melted chocolate. Here's a note. Make sure that this chocolate is at room temperature or the same temperature as the cheese before you mix it with the cheese. Otherwise, the cream cheese will curdle and it won't have quite the consistency that you're after. You can use a standing mixer like I am, or you could use a hand mixer or even a spatula. But I admit, I don't want to work that hard. But the choice is up to you. Mix it on medium speed for up to two minutes or so, or until it's completely mixed through. Now let's take a look. Delicious. Hey, if you're a person who enjoys bloopers, I think you should stick around to the very end. That's it. That's how to make cream cheese with chocolate. It's pretty simple, really. I like to enjoy it with strawberries, pretzels, or maybe even shortbread. And I think this chocolate cream cheese will make an excellent substitution in your favorite brownie recipe or maybe even a cheesecake. How will you enjoy this delectable cheese and chocolate pairing? Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate your support. Like this video and subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next episode. She's always after the cheese. This recipe requires the use of cheesecloth, and I'd like to thank cheesecloth.com for providing it for this video. This recipe uses the... If you think that's cheese she's eating, you'd be right. Time to make a new batch.